it will be forever in my memories what they did for me, how they treated me and how the PSG fans were to me. Even though I was only here for six months, I felt that I was treated like I'd been here for 16 years and I was part of that family. I've always loved Paris. Paris has been a special place for me over the years. You know, I met my wife 27 years ago and we've always celebrated like special moments, anniversaries, birthdays, whatever we could celebrate, we'd always celebrate in Paris. We were on our way back to the UK, back to London, and I got a phone call from uh, Leonardo uh, and NASA. And they said, you know, we know that you're out of contract um, and we haven't won the league for quite a while. You know, we're looking good, but we feel if you was to come into the team for the rest of the season, you'd give us a little bit of a lift. So the opportunity to obviously be part of the squad that they had, you know, they had a young Thiago Silva, they had obviously Motta, uh, Maxwell, uh, a young Verratti, uh, and obviously Slatan and, and a lot of other great players. It excited me and it also gave me the opportunity to play for another team in Europe and one of the biggest teams in Europe. I could not turn it down. Walking in here for the first time for my press conference, that was, you know, it was, it was quite an emotional moment. I remember turning up in Paris, going into NASA's office where Leonardo was and Carlo was, and I remember signing the, the, the contract and then obviously going straight out doing my press conference. Okay, so we're, we're live at the moment on, uh, on Bean Sport. So welcome to, welcome to France for a, for a start. Well, I just found out I'm the oldest in the league. So You're the oldest in the league? Apparently so. <laughs> <laughs> to get offered, you know, uh, a chance to play in Paris with PSG is something that, um, you know, I'm very flattered and, and, and excited about. Y bueno, también de recordarte que el día que tocó que te retiraras, fui yo quien te saludé cuando dejaste una cancha y te despeiné un poquito. I remember the first time uh, I met you uh, in Paris Saint-Germain. I was uh, I was a little bit shy because you were you were like a star for me and uh, to to know that I can play with you, it was uh, something amazing and I will never forget that. To be honest, I didn't know what to expect. I was just really excited to be part of the club. You know, when I first arrived, I spent, I spent a lot of time in that sand pit, but yeah, it's just a special feeling here, to be honest. Um, yeah. When people say, describe what Paris or PSG is to you, and I say family, it's because it feels like a family to me. Uh, it did from day one. I was made to feel at home from day one, and it was, it was a special place. David, he... Para mim é um orgulho muito grande falar dessa pessoa, dessa, dessa humildade de pessoa que é o David. Né? Tive a oportunidade de jogar com ele no Milan também. E sempre foi um cara muito simples. Né? E para mim é um, é um privilégio jogar do lado dele. Fantástico, uma pessoa maravilhosa, um ícone, um exemplo de, de atleta e, e de pessoa. Ele é um cara muito alegre quando joga, quando não joga, é sempre a mesma pessoa. Então... Falar do David é, é sempre muito fácil. Vai, 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 vai. 
Oh, 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 oh. They all helped me out. You know, this was different for me. So they really kind of were great teammates to me. I got to spend a lot of time with most of them. And considering actually I didn't speak virtually any French, it was the French players that were inviting me round to their house at the weekends uh, for barbecues and to have a drink. And, and in all honesty, I, I probably spent more time with the French players than I did any of the others. David, mon ami, j'ai découvert un footballeur, plutôt un bon pied droit, on doit dire. Et puis j'ai eu cette chance de découvrir l'homme. Et euh, je te remercie pour tous ces bons moments qu'on a passés ensemble. Et je te souhaite beaucoup de bonnes choses pour la suite. I always involve my kids. I've always been able to bring them down. And it's, uh, yeah, that, that for me is important. To be honest, I remember running around, you know, these fields after training with the kids. I remember slapper and kick, not kick, he tripped one of my sons up once when we were after, after training and so did uh, Thiago as well. But um, yeah, I, I always brought the kids down. It was special. Great memories from me. People always ask me who has, has been my favorite manager that I've played under. Carlo is up there with the best. I don't think you'll get one footballer that has played with him, against him, been managed by him, been coached by him, will say one bad word about Carlo. And euh, ne serait-ce que pour ce, cette petite anecdote, la première fois où j'ai eu la chance de pouvoir te, te rencontrer à Valence, en huitième de finale de, de Ligue des Champions. Voilà, un souvenir marquant qui, qui en dit beaucoup sur le personnage, c'est quand tu es monté dans le bus, euh, tout David Beckham que tu es, tu as demandé à chaque personne, à chaque joueur, si tu pouvais t'asseoir à cette place et si la place était prise. Ce qui en dit long sur le respect que tu as et qui aujourd'hui euh, bah, le force. Ce respect en tout cas pour moi parce que, voilà, comme je l'ai dit tout à l'heure, j'ai eu une chance incroyable de pouvoir te côtoyer. We know how important the rivalry between Marseille and PSG is. I remember coming on with maybe 15, 20 minutes left. Watch my first touch in that game. My first touch of the ball was actually a pretty good one. But I remember it being so cold, my feet actually were frozen. Um, but I was quite impressed with the touch. And then I had a little bit to do. I think I might have had a little bit to do with the, the goal that uh, Slatan scored. Yeah, I think I had something to do with it. I felt I did. Everyone knows what a huge football fan I am, so actually to play in this stadium, knowing the history, um, the players that have played here, you know, Pauletta, Ronaldinho, David Ginola, all of these great players that have played here. But the reason I was looking forward to playing in this stadium was because of these fans. The fans in this stadium create something unbelievable. able to start in the starting lineup against you know a, a powerhouse like Barcelona um, it was just nice to be back in the Champions League you know I hadn't played in the Champions League for quite a while and then obviously to play here special atmosphere you know Champions League games in any stadium are always amazing but in this stadium it's incredible so yeah it was uh, I was excited about that one because to play against the players that we were playing against and obviously play against Leo as well was uh, was very special. Well, you had, you know, a young Marco Verratti who was one of the best midfielders that I played with. You've got a centre half like Thiago Silva that was, again, you know, an unbelievable talent. You could tell he was going to be one of the best centre backs in, in, in the game, in the world. Um, and then obviously with Slatan, Lucas Mora, all of these great players that, that were in the team, you, you could tell it was already developing and where the club wanted to go. I 
didn't think it was a sending off, but I got sent off. I got sent off, which would have meant that I'd have missed the last home game here in Paris when we lifted the trophy and it would have been my last game for this club. Um, but we went to tribunal, I turned up, um, apparently I sweet talked to them and then uh, they let me off it. So uh, luckily I was able to play in the last game here and my last game in football. Thank you, France. <laughs> no better way than going out the way I went out, you know, in front of these fans in a city that I love, um, with a championship. There was obviously a lot of emotions, but in all honesty, I just wanted to win the game. That's all I cared about, you know, and then I wanted to celebrate with my teammates, with the fans and with my family. And plus, obviously, the manager made me captain, which was um, a gesture that I'm not sure I wanted it, just because it's you know cap the ca our, our captain should be our captain no matter what's going on. But Carlo insisted, and uh, it was a special moment. Slatan, we all know the size of Slatan. If you want to start an argument with Slatan, you do it. I'm not arguing with him at all. So no, I weren't. Um, I weren't. I weren't bothered. I was never have turned round to him and said I'll take this, especially when he scored the goal that he scored. Um, because imagine if I'd have taken that, skied it, and that maybe would have been people's last memory of me on a football pitch, skying a free kick in my last game in my career. So um, no, I was not going to argue with Slatan with that. I was actually a little bit embarrassed at the time because obviously I knew that I would be coming off at some point. Um, but then obviously the game stopped and literally every player was, was giving me a, a, you know, a round of applause and uh, clapping and obviously all the fans stood up and gave me a, you know, a, an incredible um, uh, ending to my, to my career. You know, being embraced by my teammates, that was very special. I knew that they were going to kind of give me some kind of embrace, but I didn't expect what they, what they did for me. I, did, I, I would never have expected that. So I was slightly embarrassed by it, but I, I think I was, I was so emotional, I, I, I didn't care. I would not known NASA long at that point, but for someone like him that runs this, this club and the ownership that, that is part of this club, he, gets, he got emotional and it, and it meant something. And that's why I say that when I've played here and been part of this PSG family, it means something. I remember walking off the pitch, Levetsi, he literally grabbed my hair and messed my hair up, which is never a great thing. Um, but um, I was fine once, once I'd kind of got off the pitch. I want to say thank you to everybody in Paris. To finish my career here couldn't have been any more special, so thank you very much. I've never seen anything like, you know, and I've seen quite a lot of celebrations after you know winning leagues or champions leagues and but to see these fans win the title after 19 years and celebrate the way they celebrated I, it's hard to explain that moment where we're driving through you know the center of paris
love to have stayed here for another 10 years. If I could have done, I would have stayed here for 10 years. Um, but I just felt it was the right time. It was the right time for me. Two things I remember from you. You was amazing, amazing player, of course, but amazing man also. And I remember when you spoke in Senegalese. See, it, was, it was amazing, really. And uh, the second thing, one day you came uh, when we did a barbecue at the Sylvain Armand house. It was something huge, really. Bon, mon souvenir plus joli avec toi, et c'était sans doute ton premier match, parce que c'était moi le joueur qui l'a sorti pour te faire rentrer. C'est un moment qu'il a resté dans ma tête. Et... Et dans les photos et les vidéos que je me rappelle toujours que, que je suis sorti pour faire entrer en légende de, de le football et ton premier match à Paris Saint-Germain c'était quelque chose de, de fantastique. I will always remember uh, the first time that they presented you to the team in Valencia and also of course the, the moment that you had to sing in the table and uh, sharing some good laughs and also in the end, we won the title and we, we could celebrate together. Mercy Paris. Um, simple, simple, but uh, it comes from my heart because, like I said, I was treated unbelievably well here. Uh, they gave me the most special memories um, at the probably the most special moment in my career you know the moment where i retired to have those memories from this stadium and these people and this fan these fans was um, was memorable